Welcome back to Ginger's Kitchen. Today we are going to Indonesia and we're making Indonesian fried rice. So let's get started. This dish is perfect for last minute prep. Um, I have made this so many times when we have people coming over super last minute because rice is like the easiest thing in the world to make. And if you have a leftover rice and don't know what to do with it, this is the perfect fit. Um, most all of our friends who we are close with, they know this recipe because we make it for them all the time. And my favorite part about it is you have a seasoning packet that gives you all of the yummy Indonesian flavors so you don't have to fuss over it. It's fail proof, easy, quick, we eat it at least like once a week, if not a couple times a week. Our kids always are asking for what they call spicy rice, and it's not that spicy. It's just because they're like one and four. They call it spicy rice. And so we're gonna show you how to make it here. Let's jump in. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cooked rice. This is jasmine rice. You can literally use any kind of rice. I've used every kind of rice for this recipe. So take your cooked rice, Take your packet of seasoning and take your oil. I have olive oil here. You can use whatever kind you prefer. So I'm going to put some oil in. I said I'm using olive oil today. And then you just put your rice in. I'm gonna link the seasoning because this packet is so, so good. And get this awesome stuff. I wanna take a break from Ginger's Kitchen to tell you guys about an exciting new thing that I've been working on. I have partnered with Matchbox Coffee to create Ginger's Blend. And it's something that I wanna do forever. Check it out, guys. You can find out more info clicking the link in the description. And when you go to check out, use my code GINGER10 and you can get 10% off of your order. So go get it, guys. Now that the seasoning is all mixed into the rice and sauteed in there, um, typically, you would have your meat ready. It's time to add the proteins, which today we're going to be using sausage and eggs. And so what I'll do is just dice up sausage. The good thing about this, it is so um, versatile. You can, you can literally use whatever. You can put leftover vegetables in there. You can do chicken, beef, shrimp pork, whatever you want, and an egg, or you can just do the rice as is, which is also a favorite. So today we're gonna use the sausage and an egg, so I'm gonna just saute those in there, and then we're gonna come back and garnish. Now that is all ready to go. That took just minutes. So we're gonna put some in the bowl here. We first heard of this recipe, I say we, I first heard of this recipe when my friends um, came from Indonesia. It was kind of a cool story. My brother and sister, Jana and John, they went to Indonesia um, and did some work over there with some people who were local. And when they were there, they met this family and um, they were super sweet, like they loved their, their precious family and some of the kids mentioned that they were gonna be coming to the state soon and going to college. So Jana and John were like, oh, that's awesome, like you should totally come visit us. And so sure enough, they did. Jennifer, Jonathan, Jason, and Jeremy, all these friends of ours from one family all came for college and they would stay with us over the holidays breaks for college because they couldn't go back to Indonesia. And we just developed such a close relationship. Jenny was in my bridal party because she's like a sister to me now. And when they were living at our house, they would make us all these amazing Indonesian dishes, which we fell in love with. And this is one of those dishes that we had on the regular. And so, um, we make it, like I said, now we make this in our house um, at least once a week, if not a couple times a week. This is, this is such an easy go-to, our favorite. 
And so the, the Indonesian flavors are like always in our home because we just love it so much. So I'm going to garnish here with a little bit of green onion and then I'm gonna put a couple slices of cucumber on the side. And there you have it. That dish took me no time at all. It's our favorite. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. And we'll be putting out lots more videos soon, so keep coming back. And also let us know if there are any recipes you want me to try. Thanks, guys.